We're talking about knowledge of the future in movies, and in this clip I'm going to cover the classic Star Trek episode, Requiem for Methuselah, and this was first broadcast in 1969. And I believe that there is a future reference to the classic uh, science fiction novel by Douglas Adams, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, in this uh, Star Trek episode. This was published in uh, the UK in 1979. So if you've seen my other videos on this Star Trek episode, they are on my YouTube channel, Easter Egg Psychic. And you'll see where I have determined in this episode they show uh, many uh, prominent events and pop culture items, uh, popular movies, from the future year of 1995. And one of the major films uh, from this year, it is Rob Roy. And this uh, starred Liam Neeson. And uh, John Hurt was in this. Uh, Tim Roth was also in this. So in this Star Trek episode, Requiem for Methuselah, uh, there are many uh, pieces of artwork hanging on the wall. And um, one of these... Uh, the face of the gentleman in the painting, I believe this is uh, actor Liam Neeson. Rob Roy had dealt with the subject of pirates. And the link, it's through uh, Douglas Adams in his work on um, Doctor Who. So in the late 1970s, Douglas Adams, he wrote uh, many episodes of Doctor Who. And one of these was called The Pirate Planet. So the connection to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, it deals with the, um, the subject of this Star Trek episode. Guest character here, uh, Flint. He's played by actor James Daly. And uh, he is a wealthy, reclusive individual. And he has purchased a planet. And this is Holberg 917G. So it just so happens in the... Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, uh, there's also uh, the subject matter of the buying and selling of um, planets. And there is a, a planet called Magrathea, and uh, they're home to a specialized industry where they're custom making uh, these luxury planets. This is also shown in the 2005 Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy movie with Bill Nye and Martin Freeman. Yeah, okay, and the other thing about this episode, uh, they feature this uh, large uh, uh, video display, all right, and this is uh, recognizable today in 2021. This looks like a, a Samsung television, doesn't it? So Samsung, they have these um, phones and tablets in a, a product range, and it's called uh, Galaxy. So uh, this may be another uh, reference in this 1969 uh, television episode. See another possible reference in here. Okay, the main character's name is Flint. In another video, I, I mentioned the connection to the 1995 uh, movie adaptation of the cartoon The Flintstones. So yeah, if you're familiar with The Flintstones, uh, Barney Rubble and... Fred Flintstone, they have these cars, and to drive the cars, they stick their feet out the bottom of the car, and they walk the car along to propel it, uh, you know, down the road, and they live in this um, prehistoric uh, Stone Age world. And, uh, yeah, I think this may be another uh, kind of uh, strange reference to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, because, uh, you know, if you're familiar with hitchhiking, uh, a lot of this, it involves uh, walking along the roadside um, and you stick your thumb out to the uh, traffic's passing by in hopes of getting picked up and getting a ride uh, if you're lucky uh, in most of the way uh, to your uh, destination. If you're not familiar with what I do, this is not witchcraft, it's basically pattern recognition. Uh, I have some knowledge of um, 
film and television and, and various cultural references. And I use my brain and I watch these uh, movies and TV shows. I find the uh, various uh, references that coincide and that are out of place and out of time. And this is how I um, make these uh, videos. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's very interesting. There definitely is knowledge about uh, the future in these uh, various media from the past. And uh, if you like my videos, you can email me. My email address is easteraggpsychic at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.